amazing loomer in the whole entire world. Is here. I'm from the Cute Loomer channel, and I will be showing you how to make this Starburst bracelet right here. So here's my Starburst bracelet. So let's get started. First, you will need your loom's arrows. There is a red arrow right here. Forward. Right there. You will need it facing away from you, okay? And then, so we'll take your border color. I will be using black. And you will take it from this, this middle peg to this pe black peg right here. Then you take another black band, or whatever color you are using for the border, and go like right from this peg to this peg. And then do it again from this peg to this peg. And then from this peg to this peg. And then from this peg to this peg. And keep doing that all the way up to your to right here, and then I'll show you what to do when you finish, when you get to right here. So I'll do it with you one more time, and then I'll fast forward. Okay, I will fast forward right here. Okay, so I've made it to this peg. Now I will take one rubber band, one black, and go from here to here. So I will go diagonally from here to there. And then I will take another black and go from here to here, like that. So you'll see it would go from here to here. Then you take another black and go forward, just like that, how you did on this side. I'll do this with you four times, and then we'll fast forward. That So you go forward, forward again. So the band should be above the one you just placed. And then, remember, band above the one you just placed? I will fast forward, starting now. Okay, so I've gone to this peg. Next, I will take my black band and go from here to there. Like, so it's going diagonally, like I showed you in the last one time we did this side. Now you will take your first color. I will be using jelly red. It's hard to tell it's jelly, but it is. And you will need to go in a clockwise motion. So clockwise is going like this. So you'll start from this one to this one, like that. So... We're going clockwise, remember. Then you go from this one to this one. And you have to go clockwise or your bracelet won't turn out. Then this one to this one. The middle to this one. So remember, you want to start from the middle and go out. So like that. And then the middle and forward. Once you have done that, you will need to take your next color. I'm using jelly orange. I'm going to do the rainbow and jelly. So remember, you have to do clockwise again. I'll fast forward maybe after I finish putting green down. Or after I finish putting yellow down. So clockwise, remember. Clockwise from the middle and out. From, er, from the middle and back. If it's hard... To do from the middle, just go from that peg. Like, say you want to go like that, you can. But middle, I usually do. So, do that. Then you go forward, like that. And then after, then I take, then I'm gonna use jelly yellow, and go like that. Clockwise, still going clockwise. Remember what I said. You have to go clockwise, or it won't turn out. Like, so, then you go from the, that peg or the middle. It doesn't really matter. From this peg, and then you go there. I will do this with you one more time, and then I will fast forward. So, I'm going to take jelly lime green and go like that. Sorry, I meant lime green jelly. Sorry. Okay, and then middle to there. Middle and back, and then, or when I do that, when I like going from that peg because it's way easier. Middle out and middle to there. Okay, so now I will fast forward. Okay, so I have finished putting all my starbursts down, like because the stars are going to be the starbursts in your bracelet. 
Then you will need to place our, all our cat bands. So push all your bands, the middle bands, down. And then you'll take your first color. Whatever your border was, take that color. You need to wrap it around this peg. This peg right here. To make... Okay, so you'll do... Put it on your two fingers, make a figure eight, and wrap it around. So you have two loops with one band. Then you will put it down onto this peg. See, I did that. And then you push it down. Next, you'll take the color you used for this burst. Mine was the rose pinkish color. And you remember, you take it like that, wrap figure eight, wrap it on your two fingers. There should be two loops. And put it in the middle. See how I just put it in the middle of my burst? Then you take whatever color this burst was and make a figure eight. Just like that. So there's two loops with one band. And put it right there. Then you take your this color of your burst. Figure eight. Two loops and put it down. I will now fast forward. Okay, so then you take your orange band, figure eight, just like that. Okay, so now I have done my all my cat bands. There should be a black, a purple, or whatever color there should be a, the, whatever color you did for your starburst, there, that should be the cap band that you put down for each starburst. Okay? Now we can start our hooking. So you take your loom and flip it around so the arrow, red arrow is pointing now towards you. Now you will take your hook. Um, I have this thing. I will make a tutorial on this cute pencil, on this cute pencil gripper, so I can show you a tutorial on that. Push back your black cat band and grab whatever color your starburst was. If you did the same colors as me, then you would grab grab the rose purple sort of color. Push back the cap band in the middle. Now we will be going counterclockwise, not clockwise. Clockwise was this way. Counter is this way. So you must push back the cap band that you put just the color of your burst, the cap band, and bring this band to right there. like So it's from the middle and out. And then the middle to this peg. So from the middle to the right second or er, to the right third peg and then from the middle and then you go forward like that take this one and go forward this part's really easy because there's only one band left so you don't have to push back anything whoops okay okay so then we will do the same thing we grab our jelly blue or whatever color your second burst was and loop it forward and then remember counterclockwise is this way so in order of the top to the second layer to the third layer to the fourth layer to the fifth layer so this is the first layer and I'll grab that one and go right there and then I will grab this band this band and go right there so as you can see I have got my loom like this right now so yeah and then I push back this one and grab the top band and loop it forward just like that next I will grab this band and loop it to there whoops This probably has happened to you before, but so if you if it hasn't, then I'll show you how. Like, say this happens to you today, the day you're making this. But okay, so you grab it and just go like that. Grab 
grab this one and you can okay and then like you have to put your hook through grab that band and then just put it on if that happened and then oh I don't know what happened there. Okay. Then you go inside and loop that one there. If it looks a little weird, it won't look weird when you take it off. So just, it's okay. Loop it forward just like that. Back. I'll fast forward after this one. Remember, you loop it to this peg. And then you push back. And loop it to this peg. And then push that back and loop this one forward. Push it back and loop it there. Push that back and loop it there. So now I will fast forward. Okay, so I've made it all the way to here. I will show you how to finish um, doing the bursts. You keep going in a counterclockwise motion by pushing back the cap band and looping your bands forward. And there's nothing really different, but when you start hooking the perimeter bands, it gets not too tricky, not too hard. So, now we will go to the end of our rainbow loom, or whatever loom you are using. You will push your back your cap band, just like that, and grab the top black band and loop it to the side. So you will see you have that band going there, and your cap band sort of looks weird. Like that. And then you'll push back this one, your cap band again, and grab the only band that is left and loop it to that side. We will start hooking this side first. You must push back all your bands except for the bottom one and loop that one forward. So you can see on the side of my loom, all the bands are hooked. None are left um, not hooked together by this band. So now we will keep looping until we get to the right here and then I'll show you what to do. I will do three more and then fast forward. So you see they're all hooked. You want them to be all hooked or it'll come apart when you finish looping or when you finish taking off your bracelet. Hook forward and then I'll hook forward. You have to just push back the two that are on the peg and now I will fast forward. As you can see I've got all the way up to here. I'll show you how to end off this row. You push back your red or whatever color you used for your burst and loop that one forward and then you have to push back that one and loop it to the center right there. So there should be all the bands looped from the center just like that and they should be in the center. And then after I will show you how to do the left side, the right side, but I won't two, three, or four times, and then I'll fast forward. So you push back all your bands and only grab the bottom band and loop it forward just like that. So it should look a little like a lot like this side. It'll actually look symmetrical to that side. So push back your two purple or rose color bands and loop forward. Push back your jelly blue or whatever color that burst was and loop it forward. I will do this with you two more times and then I will fast forward. So your band should all be looped together on the side if you look. They are all looped except the ones I haven't looped aren't. And then you push back your two greens or whatever color you used and loop it forward. I will now fast forward until this peg. Okay, so as you can see I've made it to this peg. And I'll show you how to finish it off. You just push back the red or whatever color you used and loop that one forward like we did on all the other ones. And then you push back the red or whatever color that one was and loop it right there. Next, you will go into your peg with your hook like that. So your hook went in through all the bands. Then you take your next color, your out border color, mine's black, put it on your hook and loop it through just like that. I'm going to push that back a little. 
and hold it with your pointer finger and you can pull it off just like that so you just pull it off or you can take it off easy if this is like your first hardcore bracelet if you don't want it to break but okay so this is how it should look like when you finish just maybe with different colors if you did not do it with the colors I used so once you have got it like this we have to make an extension because like this can't fit around my wrist see it's like halfway through and then so keep put that to the side and we'll turn our air loom around so the arrows are pointing away from us then you take your out outside border color or you can just do like what colors you did in the middle like a pattern I'm just gonna take my border color because it looks nicer I put it from this peg to this peg. It's like you're making the border of your bracelet, but you just make a single chain link. And for m like, you know, my 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 wrist is like pretty small, so I'd only need like a couple bands, like maybe six or seven. If you have a bigger wrist, I prefer eight or nine. And yeah, if you have tiny wrists, maybe five or six, but. For me, I'm going to do six or seven, so that's four, five, six, and then seven. So your band should be linked just like this. Now we take our bracelet, take the two ones that are open, because you don't want them to fall off your fingers. So you put your pointer and thumb between them and add it on to the peg that was your last band you placed. So your bracelet should be hanging off just like that. Turn your loom around so the arrows are pointing towards you. You can push down the bottom band. So push back the band that you placed and just loop it forward. So forward, 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 and forward. So once I get, to, once you guys get to this peg, you will place it from there to there, just like this. Okay, then you will take your C or S clip. It doesn't really matter which clip you use. I'm using a C clip. And then you add it on. Here, let me put my hook down. You add it on to these, all these bands, and then you can take it off. So once you have done that, you add, you put your C clip onto the oval, the cap band like this. So then your band, your bracelet is connected. So I'll put it on for you guys to see. And here is your Starburst bracelet. Um, give this video a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And I hope you